The look and shoot putting system will legitimately change your life. Okay, well, maybe not your life, but at least your golf game. But let's get real. If you're obsessed with the game like myself and so many others, playing better golf is going to give you a better life. And in today's video, I want to talk about the look and shoot system and really break down what it is, why I think it's the number one putting system ever created, and how you can get started today. Coming up. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael Leonard. I'm an amateur golfer here in Scottsdale, Arizona, a golf writer and the creator of Wicked Smart Golf Podcast. Now, today's video is all about helping you get tiger-like confidence on the green. That's right. I want to give you tiger-like confidence confidence on the green. Seriously, I want you to be ecstatic on the greens. I want you to go out there and just be excited when you're on the putting green. So in my book, Wicked Smart Golf, I talk all about the importance of finding peace on the greens. So many golfers are stressed out when they're on there. They're worried more about three putting than they are about actually making putts. They're worried about wasting good drives, wasting good approach shots. And that is no way to play golf and never how you're going to become a wicked smart golfer and start shooting lower scores. So let's talk about the look and shoot putting method. So I had never heard of this program until January of 2020. I remember the day vividly because I had a one day qualifier where I was trying to get into the waste management or at least move in to the Monday qualifier. So I did the pre-qual and I was uh, playing really well. I was hitting it great, but my putting was awful. I mean, it was just like all the practice I'd been doing had just didn't pay off at all. I had just bought a brand new custom fit PXG putter about four months ago. So the putter was fine. I thought my routine was good. I thought my stroke was good, but my putting was terrible. I had three three putts in the first seven holes and I finally lost it. I just tomahawked my putter back at my golf bag on the cart Somehow the golf gods found some mercy out there. They did not damage the putter. There's like the smallest little nick uh, that you actually can't see when I'm looking down at it, but just a little bit uh, of a reminder of that specific incident. That was the moment that I figured out about this system later that day. So I went on to have, I think like 34 putts that day. I just played so well and putted terribly. And I got home, I'm drinking a beer, I'm logging my stats, I'm trying to figure out what to do next. And I think Facebook and the golf gods might have collaborated because I got hit with a Facebook ad from Automatic Golf all about the look and shoot putting system. So I was like, you know what, I'll click on this ad. It was it had really good ad copy, I'm a golf writer, so it really spoke to me and I just felt like, wow, this guy really knows what's going on in my mind. So I click over and uh, learn more about it, go through the sales page. It's like a four page sales page, but it was speaking directly to me. I just could not believe how much the text felt like he was in my mind. I was just so tired of being a great ball striker, but hitting just terrible putts, no matter how much I practice. That's the part I really was frustrated with is that I understand if you're not putting in the work that you're not going to get rewarded, right? The golf gods want to see you grind it out. But I was practicing. In fact, I was practicing so much that I wasn't even practicing other parts of my game because I was trying so hard to become a better putter. So I clicked over, I learned about it. It was a $27 uh, digital product, so I figured why not? Let's give it a shot. I binged the material, there's some training videos, there's an ebook, and it just really clicked. It started to make sense. The creator is Cameron Strachan. He used to work with Aaron Badley when he was on the PGA Tour, and he, it really just keeps it a very, very simple. I mean, the name honestly implies a lot of what it is. It's all about just looking and shooting. So many of us just overcomplicate the process of becoming great putters. Think about kids. They are the best putters out there because they just look and shoot. They are not worried about mechanics. They're not worried about not three putting. They don't have any of that scar tissue that some of us more experienced golfers have. And they're just free and they're flowing. Because the thing is with putting, it's really pretty simple compared to the full swing. But so many of us overcomplicate it. And so once I started uh, learning about this system, I instantly put into work. I remember it was the following weekend, I had a, a men's club uh, one day event and I putted lights out. I couldn't believe it. I started using this system in practice that week. I went out there that weekend and it all clicked. One year later, I looked at my stats, January of 2021, and I was able to drop from 33.5 shots per round on the greens to 29.5 and literally have had some of my best results as an amateur golfer 
all because of this system. And the best part is, is that I stopped spending hours and hours on the putting green. I started actually practicing less and performing better. Go figure. So what is this system all about? What makes the look and shoot so unique and unlike anything else? Well, first off, it taps into natural learning. So basically what Cameron said in our interview, I actually had him on Wicked Smart Golf Podcast as the first guest because I'm such a believer in this system. I said, hey, what is this system all about? And he even said it right here. I liked that you, you really dive into natural learning. So can you explain what natural learning is and, and why it's so important in putting? Well, it, it, you can go very deep with all this, and I've probably gone very deep with it. And if you go too deep, you might uh, overdo it and overcomplicate it. But when it comes to putting, I like to describe it as no harder than throwing a ball or tossing a ball to someone. So assuming I'm here now, I've got a ball in my hand, and I was going to throw it to you. Um, you know, I might be three or four yards away from you or 10 yards. And I've got no doubt in my mind that I'd be able to toss that ball to you. And I've also got no doubt you'd be able to catch it, Mike, as well. You'd catch the ball. And then if I asked you to throw it back to me, you'd go, oh, no worries, you'd just look at me and you'd toss it back to me. And it'd be a perfect speed, perfect height. It wouldn't overcomplicate it. Now, if I walked further away or came closer, um, you would still have no trouble in looking and, sh and throwing that ball. And then putting in my mind can be as simple as that. So no harder than throwing or catching a ball. Basically, if you can throw a ball, you can become a great putter. Again, so many of us just overcomplicate the process. So I love that he keeps it simple. The second thing that really makes the system unique is that he goes in depth about the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Now, you don't have to get overcomplicated and be a psychology expert to really understand this stuff, but basically he says you have to use both the conscious and the subconscious to get your best putting performance. Now this is what Cameron calls einstein -y. So he basically says behind the golf ball you need to be thinking about the putt. You need to think about you know, reading the putt, where do you want it to go? Is it uphill, is it downhill? How long is the putt? Where do you want the putt to go? You do all that math kind of behind it. And then there's an imaginary line. And then once you cross that imaginary line, that's where you go unconscious. That's where you let the subconscious, the much more powerful part of your brain, take over. Now, the way that he recommends doing this is with a secondary task. So for example, when I actually cross that imaginary line, once my evaluation of the putt's done, then I cross that line, then it's time to start my secondary task. Now, here's what he talks about in our podcast about that. For me, what the kicker was, was learning how to have a secondary task. So can you talk about that a little bit? Because that to me is really the kind of the game changer for this. Yeah, it's a proven uh, scientific principle, a, a learning, a scientific learning principle. So, um, if I can give another analogy, when 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 we drive a car, we almost always have the radio on. Um, well, you know, in the old days you had radios. Now we have our you know our, our phones on and our, our our you know iTunes or whatever connected through our phone. But we we listen to music, we listen to podcasts, we listen to talkback radio, and so we're driving along and we're, we're doing something else. So we we're, we're talk, we're listening to the radio and singing songs and carrying on and. And for the most part, we all drive the car very well. Car crashes and car wrecks are caused typically by overconfidence, driving too fast and being crazy rather than, you know, being too tentative. Um, with golf, we don't tend to think about a secondary task. But we're just trying so hard to control the motion. So when we're driving a car, we're not thinking about how hard to hold the steering wheel, how hard to hit the accelerator, when to hit the brakes. We just do it naturally, instinctively while we're listening to the radio or singing songs or talking to someone in the car or talking on the phone. Um, but yeah, golf, if we can introduce a secondary task and one of the best ones I like, and I've been, I've used it for years and years and years. Um, and for me, it was very profound when I figured this out, but I like to count numbers in my head. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And I'll just repeat those numbers from the moment I leave from, from the moment I start walking to the ball, right until the, right until the ball, you know, finds a hole or, you know, stops rolling. I'll be counting numbers. And I've had some very funny and strange looks from people because under pressure, I still do the same thing, but sometimes I even say it out loud. So that's right. When you see me on the green, if you're ever playing with me, I'm actually counting down. I am not thinking about that putt. I've already lined the ball up to where I think the putt's going to break. I know what the putt's going to do. And really, to me, it's all about letting my subconscious take over. Because when I am counting down, or if you prefer singing or another method, you are keeping your conscious mind busy. And when your conscious mind is busy, because it can only have one thought at a time, that is where your subconscious gets to take over and become that free flowing. You're just out there and it's just look and shoot. 
And that's why I love this system. It's just so simple. Another really important thing that I learned from this is mixing up your routine. Let me ask, for your putting, do you take your putting strokes next to the golf ball or do you take them back behind the golf ball? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, I was like a lot of players and I used to actually do my practice strokes right next to the ball and then I would get up and putt. But again, this just wasn't working for me. I needed to mix it up. So instead, he recommends actually looking at the hole and doing perpendicular putting strokes. So I started doing that with these other methods and other strategies that are inside the look and shoot method and literally has transformed my putting. So again, I'm a huge fan of this and I don't really endorse many products because I think a lot of training aids and a lot of things are really overhyped. But this is simple. Not to mention, it's one of the most affordable golf training aids out there. It's basically the cost of a few sleeves of golf balls, but this system can transform your entire game and literally give you confidence for life. So again, I do not want to go into the full details of the look and shoot putting method in here because this video would be like an hour plus long, but this system from Cameron Strachan works. I've had a ton of friends join it. I've had a lot of people I play with join it and they just are like, wow, it's so simple, but it works. If you're tired of being frustrated on the greens, if you're tired of three jacking, if you're tired of getting up there and just being so nervous and anxious and worried, instead of being confident and ready to make the putt, this system is for you. And again, if things are going bad right now, just remember, what more do you have to lose? That's where I was, right? You have to try and try new things sometimes to get new results. If you just keep doing the same things over and over again in your putting routine, it's likely not gonna yield any different results. So again, mix it up and I'm confident that you will be wildly impressed with the results. The look and shoot putting system is so effective because it uses your subconscious, not just your conscious mind, so you can putt like a kid and be free and find peace on the green. So to learn more about this awesome system from Cameron, again, you can click the link down below. I have uh, some more notes on it and a full blog post as well if you want even more in-depth research about this amazing system. I am confident it will help you become a wicked smart golfer on the greens. When you start to see results from the system, which I am confident that you will if you actually read and implement this stuff that he talks about, Come back to this video and comment down below. I would love to hear from you and celebrate those wins. Thanks again for watching and as always, I hope you have an epic day on the links.